is fast approaching and we are so excited here at Moorhead State University. Let me give you some advice to make move-in day a much simpler process. First of all, please visit the move-in day website at moreheadstate.edu slash move-in for more information and complete instructions. Make sure all belongings are tagged with the move-in tags available on our website. Please limit vehicles to one per resident and do not arrive early for your building or floor commitment time. Take this advice because I promise you, you will be held up in line until your time arrives. We understand that going to college can be hard and it's tough to say goodbye, but when you get here, we'll have more than enough volunteers to help you move in. With that being said, please bring as few people as possible on move-in day. Upon arrival to the US 60 lot, move-in volunteers will direct you to the lineup for their residence hall. Students will be given a parking pass and a dashboard card for move-in. Vehicles will be released as space around the halls allow. A pace car will lead vehicles to the residence halls for the move-in process. We will have many uniformed police officers and volunteers to offer instruction and answer any questions you may have. Once you arrive at your hall, volunteers will meet you at the vehicle and carry your belongings into the hall and up to your room. Residents will need to check in with the hall staff to obtain your room key. And again, just a quick reminder, make sure that all items are tagged with the move-in tags available on our website. Also, make sure the move-in info card is filled out and visible on your dashboard with key information including name and cell phone number. After your vehicle is unloaded, you will be expected to move it to satellite parking. It is recommended that only one family member move the car while the students begin to unpack and set up their new home. Move-in day satellite parking locations are as follows. The US 60 lot to the right after pulling in, the lot by the football and baseball stadiums, the Rice Building parking lot, the student lot behind Fields Hall, and the student lot behind Ginger Hall. MSU shuttles will be picking up families and returning to campus. We look forward to seeing you here at Moorhead State University.